My name is John Sosha and I'm the fifth grade teacher here at Roosevelt Elementary and I'll give you a little tour of my classroom and how I use technology effectively in this classroom. Uh, right now the students are working in Spelling City which I use to augment my spelling program. So I use the Treasures program from the district and I put all our spelling and vocabulary words online. Uh, Treasures is a reading program that we have adopted at the district and we use the fifth grade Treasures book. So the spelling that goes along with that is online with them right now. And Spelling City is a subscription so I purchased that uh, out of pocket for the kids to use. It's very inexpensive but it's very, kids like to use it and it's useful for them also. Oh, they love it. They, they work on it at home, they do all those kinds of things too. I've seen improvement in vocabulary, I've seen improvement in spelling over the time since I instituted it at the beginning of the school year. When they're finished with all of their online assignments, then on the index page, they can go to their online math test. Now this is different. The online math assignments are 10 problems. It just is a check for me. Oh, you know that. You did 90% or better, and that's what I use. So they go up and they do that. And then I click on the tests, and I have listed all of the math tests for them. And this is different because now I have 25 questions to ask them. So if they finish chapter 15, they come to 15, they click on that, and now they have their whole math test, which is online. This also helps students because it emulates the same format that they take the ISAT and then eventually taking the new uh, Common Core Standards test that they'll be doing. So we're looking at making sure that what I teach is aligned with what we want them to learn. So using the technology back and forth. So from anywhere in the classroom, I will be able to use my technology. So I can pick up my interwrite pad and control my computer. So I can come down to the bottom and I can say, oh, I want to show you this PowerPoint that we went on this morning. So they were presented with a word problem to do this morning. I can come back to any item that I need. So I can bring up the internet uh, from here. So if I wanted to show kids that I wanted you to go to the index page, I'm controlling my computer from here. So when I'm looking at this, I don't have to be touching this, the computer. I can be anywhere I need to be. So I can show kids, go to the assignments page, I can scroll this down from the assignments page from here. I can show them that they need to do an activity by using this. I can sit down next to a student and like, I'll tell the student, well just look up at the board and I'll just bring up a clean slate on the smart board and I'll say, okay, let me work this problem out for you. So now I just come down and pick up my pen and I'll say, okay, we want to find out what's three halves and we want to multiply that times four. So when I'm using this, I don't have to be here or there, I can be right next to my student and they're figuring things out. Uh, this is a front row microphone and it's an IR microphone. So this allows me to connect to that black disc on the ceiling. This then uh, puts my voice out over the entire classroom. So I no longer have to elevate my voice to speak to the group. So now when I'm speaking to the group, I can be anywhere in the classroom and everyone gets to hear me because I have six, four speakers around the room, so I don't have to elevate my voice, which is really important at the end of the day. The technology is inexorably linked to student achievement because students come to the classroom and these kids are 10 and 11 years old and they want to use the technology. I have kids in the classroom that are reading stories on their nooks and on their Kindles and they want to access through their eye touches to read materials. So I provide in the classroom then the opportunity to learn through the use of technology and with the use of technology. I've been able to do my stuff at home when I'm sick without somebody having to carry me to work. And um, it's, uh, it's easier because you cannot spell wrong because it will correct it for you and you can't write too sloppy so the teacher can't read it and it's instantly emailed to him so you don't have to worry about actually turning it in and your dog can't eat it. <laughs> the smart board, it, um, it's, it like can show us exactly what to do like, cause, like it's like you don't like if he does, does it on a whiteboard you're not really like you, you don't know exactly where to go on the computer and so I like the smart board because it can tell us exactly where to go. Technology does make a difference in how kids feel about what they do. 
It makes a difference in how students achieve, and it makes a big difference in how I, as a teacher, am able to deliver lessons and learning to the kids so that they are enhanced. It's enriched. It's a very rich environment.